Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. Morphe has just opened up a brand new store near me. I could not wait to get a hold of this eyeshadow palette, so I went in store. Here's what the bag looks like. It says Morphe here, and it says Morphe on this side too. Inside, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, and it did come with a free makeup bag. Here's what the makeup bag looks like, and when you open it up, that's how much room you have in it. So it's a decent makeup bag. This is made out of plastic, and the glittered specs does not fall off anywhere, which is really good. And it comes with this little zipper here. The zipper says Morphe on it. Here's a closer look on what the eyeshadow looks like. It says Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. You turn it over to the back, you have a little note from her, and then the ingredients are here at the bottom. I haven't even opened this up. I only swatched one shadow in store. The eyeshadow palette does come in a secure bubble wrap. I'm holding the palette the wrong way. And here's what the actual eyeshadow palette looks like. On the back it tells you a little bit about the eyeshadow palette. You get 56.2 grams or 1.98 ounces. This is good for 12 months. It retails for $39. So let's go ahead and open this up. It does come with this little plastic protector to protect the shadows, which is awesome. Here are all the shades in this palette. Up at the top, it's a little message from her. It says to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years, this one's for you. XO Jaclyn Hill. This is my first 35 pan eyeshadow palette from Morphe. I have purchased her vault collection eyeshadow palettes, but nothing as big as this. I purchased this mainly because of the purples. You guys know my favorite color is purple. That's the only reason why I purchased this palette. If it didn't have Jaclyn's name on it, I still would have purchased it. Let's get into the swatches. The first shade in the palette is called Certified. Ooh, this is so soft in the pan. Certified is described as a matte pearl shadow. One swipe, let's blend her out. The next shade is called I'm In It. This one is a little bit scratchy in the pan. I'm In It is described as a satin cotton candy shade. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful iridescent. Next shade is called Love Handles. Wow, this is so soft in the pan. Love Handles is described as a matte peach cobbler shade. That does not look good with one swipe, so let's build it up. I have another. That one is, it's an all right shadow. It's not too pigmented. Next shade is called Comfort Zone. Comfort Zone is described as a matte nutmeg shade. I do want to blend out this shade as well. Next shade is called Perfectionist. Perfectionist is described as a matte nectarine. The next shade is called Ride or Diamonds. Ride or Diamonds is described as a shimmering rosy copper. The next shade is called Thick Skin. Thick Skin is described as a matte terracotta shade. First shade in the second row is called No Joke. No Joke is described as a matte dandelion shade. The next shade is called Talia. Talia is described as a shimmering gold leaf. The next shade we have is Feeling Myself. Feeling Myself is described as a matte tangerine. The next shade we have is Homebody. Homebody is described as a matte mahogany shade. The next shade is GRWM, Get Ready With Me. That is described as a shimmering natural copper shade. Next shade is Bougie. Bougie is described as a shimmering peach Bellini shade. Next shade we have is called Drama Queen. 
Drama Queen is described as a shimmering pink diamond shade. Flawed and Odd is described as a shimmering marmalade shade. The next shade we have is called G Money. G Money is described as a matte mustard seed. I'm swatching G Money on this side of my arm because we already know the other side is full. Here's what G Money looks like. Let's blend her out. Next shade is called Positivity. Positivity is described as a matte electric coral shade. The next shade is called My Man. My Man is described as a matte neon orange shade. So pretty. Let's blend this out. Next shade is called Grateful. Grateful is described as a matte clay brick shade. The next shade is called Heart On. Heart On is described as a matte strawberry daiquiri shade. Wow, that's pigmented. Do I need to blend this out? Let's blend this out. The last shade in the third row is called Living My Best. Now we're getting to my favorite shades, which is the purples. The first shade in the fourth row is called A Moment. Look at that. Gorgeous. A Moment is described as a shimmering lilac shade. That is so pretty. I do want to blend out this shade. The next shade is called Therapy Sesh. Therapy Sesh is described as a matte orchid shade. Let's blend her out. The next shade is called Lolly Mama. Lolly Mama is described as a matte fuchsia shade. Blend out this shade as well. The next shade is called Tipsy Girl. Again, very soft in the pan. Tipsy Girl is described as a matte hot pink shade. So pigmented with one swipe. Wow. Let's blend it out. The next shade is called Empowered. Empowered is described as a shimmering raspberry jam shade. Let's blend her out. Next shade is called Next. Next is described as a matte sangria shade. Let's blend her out. The last shade in the fourth row is called Dance Party. Dance Party is described as a matte fruit punch shade. Very pigmented with one swipe. Let's blend her out. The first shade in the last row is called Stay True. Stay True is described as a matte berry shade. I do want to blend this shadow out. The next shade is called Not My Journey. Here's what Not My Journey looks like. Next shade is called Good Place. Next shade is called Paolo. Paolo is described as a shimmering fig shade. Let me try and blend that out. Since I did run out of arm space, I wanted to show you what all the swatches look like on the back of my hand. We have three more shades to swatch in this palette. I don't want to wipe off the swatches because it's so pigmented, it's so pretty. I'm going to swatch the last three on this side of my arm. The next shade is called Oh Hello. Oh Hello is described as a black raspberry shade. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm so sorry if you guys can't see it. This is gorgeous. Let me blend this out. I'm gonna try and swatch better. Maybe I'll do it down here. The next shade is called Crazy. Crazy is described as a matte Merlot shade. Ooh, that's pretty. The last shade in the palette is called Tempress. Tempress is described as a pitch black shade. Ooh, that is very black and matte. It's gorgeous. Now we're gonna create a look using this eyeshadow palette. The first shade we're gonna dip into with a fluffy brush is in the shade Homebody. I'm gonna be applying that in my crease. I'm just 
disappointed that this eyeshadow palette doesn't come with the mirror. This is blending out so nicely. I'm using my Wet n Wild brush. This is part of their Rose Gold collection. Super soft brush. I'm getting a lot of pigment. These eyeshadows blend out so nicely and very easily. I'm really glad that Jaclyn did collab with Morphe. I was kind of scared to purchase from Jaclyn Cosmetics again because of the whole lipstick gate. You guys know I purchased the entire bundle. If you have not seen that lip swatch video, I'll leave it right over here in the cards. I did not take down that video because I thought she was going to improve the formula. We'll see if she does reformulate her lipsticks in the future. Hopefully she does. Next shade I'm going to be picking up is called Not My Journey. I'm going to be packing that on my outer V. Wow, so pigmented. Packing that on, blending it up. Wow, that is too pigmented. I don't know what I did there. Maybe I used the wrong brush. Grabbing a clean brush, I'm going to soften the shade out. It's way too pigmented, but I love that. I didn't have to use a lot of product. Using that same brush, I'm gonna do that same stamping. Even it out. That's what I wanted to create. I don't know what I did on this side, but I wanted to create this. I went back in with the first shade we used in Homebody and I tried to clean it up a little bit. It still doesn't look that great. We'll work with it. I'm gonna attempt to cut my crease. It's probably not gonna go great. I just wanna try it because I do wanna play with more color from this palette. Taking a little bit of my Anastasia sample size eye primer. Taking my finger, I'm gonna dip into the shadow a moment. I'm gonna apply that where I place the primer. Going back in with that rich shade in Not My Journey, I'm gonna try to fluff this out. The shade in A Moment and Not My Journey, it's looking too harsh. I'll try to blend those two together. It does look a little bit better, but not what I was expecting it to look like. I do have a little bit of fallout underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna dust it away. The next shade I'm gonna be taking is the shade in I'm In It. I'm gonna be applying that in my inner corner. Ooh, that's so pretty. Taking a fluffy tapered brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Talia. I'm gonna be applying that as my highlighter on my cheekbones. I like this eyeshadow shade in Talia a lot. It's not too wham bam in your face. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Applying a little bit here too. For lips, I'm applying the shade In Presence by Bare Minerals. Here's how the look turned out. I personally don't like how I blended out the eyeshadows. I think I need to do a little bit more blending. Overall, I love how the shadows I use blended out. My final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette is that I love it so much. I can see myself using it, especially these purple shadows. I definitely can see myself reaching for this palette. Every day for work, there's a ton of neutral shadows. The only thing that this eyeshadow palette is missing is a mirror. I do think that this palette is worth the hype. If you are a supporter of Jaclyn, you would definitely love this. I did see the original palette at the Morphe store. Looking at both of those palettes side by side, you don't really need both. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.